All right, so this is day three, the last um, practice day for this quizette. Um, so remember, you're using that Sokotoa to help figure it out, right? So that's what you should have done. And you should have already done it and had your answer, okay? So let's take a look at those answers. Now, um, remember, we look at our angle, and then we name opposite, adjacent, and hypotenuse on all of them. Look at our angle. Opposite adjacent hypotenuse. Look at our angle. There's the hypotenuse because it's across the 90, so adjacent opposite. Then using the Sokotoa, decide which one we set up. So opposite and hypotenuse, that's sine. So we set it up. The sine of our angle, theta, is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse. Okay, number two, same idea. This one's connecting adjacent and hypotenuse, so that's cosine. Cosine of our angle is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse. Okay, then the last one, opposite and adjacent, so that's tangent. So tangent of our angle is equal to opposite over adjacent. Now, because we're looking for the angle, remember we do the inverse sine. So you need your calculator. You just simply do the inverse sine of that function to get our angles the inverse sine of that function to get our angle. Inverse sine of that function, that fraction, that gives us our angles. Okay, so then we just type it into the calculator to get our answers. And let me show you how it should look in the calculator. So, just a reminder, um, with the calculator, because you have to use the calculator for this, make sure you go to settings, document settings, and then you want to look at this right here, the angle. If it says radians, you click on that, change it to degrees, then go down here and click Make Default. That'll make it be degrees for both the scratch pad calculator and we make a new document calculator. Okay, so you need to make sure your calculator's done like that. Then if it is in degrees, and it should say, notice up here, it'll say degrees. So if it already says that, you don't need to go change it. Um, and it should say it when you open up uh, your calculator. So then we go to our calculate screen and you gotta hit that trig button right there and then we have all our inverse options okay which then we type into our calculator just like this just like we did there that gives us our angle it wants us to round to the nearest degree so 50.5 rounds up to 51 okay for the second one inverse cosine of 16 over 39 65.779 round up to 66 and lastly tangent type it in just like we had it 30.3 so we keep it rounded to 30 degrees so we've got that uh, performance quiz at next time make sure you guys are ready to go on